guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be re-reviewing the Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit. For those of you that watched the other video that I did on this mascara, I wasn't too keen on it and there was a lot of negatives thrown out in the air there about the formula, how it clumps and it weighed the lashes down. But after using this a lot longer now, I can give my total honest opinion and I have personally been loving this mascara. I think at the time I did the video, I was going through the three month shredding of the lashes. So they were falling out and they were really short and sparse. But now after using coconut oil, they are much more fanned out and mascara sticks to them nicely and coats them. I have done this eye already but without any eyeliner on so you can see the finished result and I'm going to do this side as well. So I have been using coconut oil at night time which helps nourish the lashes and I do feel that it helps with the growth as well. So there's a load of benefits with using coconut oil so it's worth giving it a go if you suffer with lashes like I do which are non-existent. I have just curled this side. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Primer. This is new for me, I haven't tried this before because I usually use the Lancome Seals Boost XL. That's £21-£22 and I can't justify that price to keep purchasing it because I've been using it for the past nine years, no complaints. It is a staple in my makeup bag, however, you've got to try new things because you never know, there might be a cheaper alternative that is just as good. So that's why I'm going to try this Maybelline primer and see how I get on. So that's what it looks like, it's white coated and the brush looks quite nice as well actually, quite a big brush. So I'm gonna go in with this eye. I use, if you were just wondering, for this side I use the Lancome one because I just want to see how it differs with using the other primer, the cheaper primer on this side. So you can see if you're interested in getting a primer, which one looks better and applies better. So, so far, so good. It's certainly given the lashes volume. And I guess because it's white, you can see where you're going when you put on your mascara. So I'm gonna go in now with the Bad Girl Bang. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Bad Girl Bang. I keep calling it Big Gal Bang, but that's totally wrong. Right, so I'm just going in at the root of the lash, I haven't got an itch. Root of the lash and then just fanning it out and go working at the side, getting the mirror to the side and just making sure all the lashes are coated there. So you can see that they are starting to I actually really do like this primer and I love this mascara. It makes my lash look so long. And because I normally use um, eyeliner, it shortens the lashes. Because if you think you're putting eyeliner probably up to like here, it's gonna like weigh down your lashes. So I do like it without the liner on. I think your hair gonna go in with a, another coat on this side. For some reason, this side, my lashes are longer than that side. It's so annoying. I have no idea why, but that is the case. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. Like you've got one side that's better with eyebrows and then one side that's better with lashes. And then just I'm just wiggling the lashes up, pushing them up. that second coat you've got to be quick because it does dry quite quickly I don't know if it's this primer that I'm using that's making them look the more and more I go over it it's starting to crumble a bit but I think that is the primer not the mascara so that is what they look like and then what I tend to do after is I just go like that to push them up I know you get like product on your finger but it just helps them stay in place and look more volumized 
and because your finger is like room temperature slightly warm it's gonna the lashes are going to stick and stay in place so I just go through with my finger and just run through the lashes like that just to pump them up a bit and plump them like a push-up bra but for lashes so I just go like that and you can see the volume there now and then just go back and forth and that really does make a difference and that's my trick to making your lashes look amazing so there we have it that side looks so much better than that side damn it I'm gonna do it that side again So I get right at the bottom there and then I just press it down. This side's dry now so I don't know if it'll work. That looks better. And they even get in the corner and they are just sensational. I will repurchase. The only thing um, with the Benefit Mascara Bad Girl Bang is that it's a bitch to get off. So you may need to use a really good eye makeup remover. The one I use is the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover for waterproof and heavy makeup. Now, the Benefit one doesn't say that it's waterproof, but I'm pretty sure it could be and that you could get away with going in a swimming pool or swimming and it wouldn't budge because it is so difficult to get off. Like, for example, that is what I used earlier and that there is a lot of product on there. So it's gonna be very difficult to get this off, but it's, it is worth it. So I'd thoroughly recommend. It retails, I think 21 pound 50, the benefit one. So you could tr try out the smaller version for 10 pound um, if you're unsure. It's worth giving it a go. And overall, out of all the benefit mascaras, Bad Girl, Roller Lash, and they're real, I do prefer the bad girl bang. So yes, to begin with, I was a bit unsure, but now I've tried it out and just look at them, they're amazing. And you can see from the beginning of the video that I had no lashes and now I do. So whether it's the, the mix of the primer, coconut oil and the mascara, who knows? But they are the three things that I do. And I don't have the coconut oil with me, but these are the, well, whichever one you decide. The primer and the mascara, you're sorted. And that's a staple. I follow that step every single day of my lashes. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I'll see you guys soon. Is that better? Yeah, we'll go with that. See you next video. Bye.